Okay, in this tutorial what we'll be doing, what we're looking at is how to create the, um, the squash and the stretch. Now let's have a look at the worked example again. And you'll see that when I come down, it squashes. See the ball squashes and it stretches, squashes, stretch, and it actually looks like a, a ball actually bouncing. We're going to do that and we're going to actually exaggerate that because in animation it's the art of exaggeration. So we, we make it a bit more dramatic than what it is in real life. Let me show you how, how we do that. So here's where you got up to. We just created some bounces, just like that. Now, what we have to add is a keyframe. So every time it hits the ground, like that, we'll say the ground's a bit higher, I'm going to get you to press F6 on your computer. And we add a keyframe. So every time it hits the ground, there. I should have actually made that point with that lower one. So use the lower guide. And I click here. You can insert timeline keyframe. Now it's a lot easier if you use um, a, 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 um, a key combination than doing that. Alright, so now that one there. I'm going to press F6 again. And I'm coming up the last one just fair. I'll press F6. That one didn't work. I pressed the wrong key on my Mac. Function F6. All right. So that's how we do it. Now, okay, I just a reminder if you're using, um, yeah, so F6 on a PC. And that's it. So we're coming down. Now, we're not doing anything at this stage. So the ball is there. I'd like the ball to be a bit lower. So what we're going to use, we're going to use the transformation tool. So how, what we do with the transformation tool is we come up here and we actually squish the ball at that stage. Squish. We go to the next one. When it comes down here, transformation tool, click, make sure you click onto the, onto the ball, transformation tool. And we're going to squish the ball again. So actually, we're going to exaggerate it. Half is a good size, half the original size. We squish it down. We click, squish it down to half the size. And we squish, and we squish it down to half the size again. At the moment, that'll look a bit odd, because it's squished down, it doesn't stretch out. So what we've got to do is we've got to figure out where the stretch point is. So you think if a ball is bouncing, it'll probably stretch just before it hits here. I'm then going to click just before, and I'm going to put another keyframe in. And I'm going to make sure well, it's actually stretched out to a bit more. And what it should be. So when it what will happen, it'll hit and I'll do that. So just after again, we actually do it here. It's it's actually stretched out to that point there, just at the right there, maybe. Um, F6, and I'm going to stretch it out again. So if we look at that little sequence, it comes up, squish, stretch. Comes down. Again, it's still it's trying to squish down there, so we might point baby about that point there guess what we're going to do we're actually going to make it stretch out again there's lots of videos online that talk about animation squash and stretch and we'll be doing that a bit later on in the term anyway um, and we could stretch it out so you can you can continue on so the idea is boing so the, the ball will actually bounce and will actually um, squish and stretch where you want it I'll leave you to finish that activity Oh, just to recap, keyframes, F6, use the transformation tool, which is this tool here, and we squish or we stretch depending on where it is on its path.